machines. They are our tools and toys. Assisting with building roads, railways, buildings and bridges, they make our life easier and have been the catalyst of our achievements in urban cities. In this video, we'll go over the top 10 biggest machines in the world. So share this video with your friends, hit that like button, subscribe and ring the notification bell. Number 10. The Komatsu E575A Super Dozer the largest bulldozer in the world, the Superdozer was produced in 1991 and still dominated the scene. As the largest dozer on the planet, it stands at 16 feet, which is about 5 meters, and is 38 feet or 11.5 meters long and has a width of 24 feet wide or 7.3 meters. With its 12-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine, which creates an astounding 1,150 horsepower, it is able to shift 96 cubic meters of material in a single pass even though its total weight is 153 tons. Number 9. Belaz 75710 The world's largest dump truck was made for doing what dump trucks are supposed to do, haul earth and rubble, and it can haul 450 tons of rock. It has two 16-cylinder engines and two diesel generators, allowing for 4,600 horsepower and 13,738 pounds of torque. So it can move fast, even though it's the same as 17 heavy-duty pickup trucks in one gigantic dump truck. The compact dimensions are 20 meters long, 10 meters wide, and 8 meters high. When it's not carrying a load, use of one engine will suffice, and it's totally practical. But when it's time to get dirty, both of the engines are used to carry a hefty full load. Although it's gigantic, it has sophisticated rotation designs for driving maneuvering capability. So don't suppose its bulk hinders its agility. Number 8. Straddle Launch The world's largest airplane, called the Straddle Launch, has its function in its name. It is designed to carry rockets to the stratosphere and release them for a rocket stratosphere launch. And this is an amazing concept for our space frontier exploration. In 2011, the late Microsoft co-founder, Paul Allen, founded the project. It has six Boeing 747 engines and two fuselages. This massive airplane has a wingspan of 117 meters or 385 feet and weighs 580 tons. The future of this plane has been sketchy since partners have changed and 50 to 80 employees of the company were laid off as the company's plan for creating rockets was canceled. On its initial flight, however, it was soaring the California skies for two hours at 17,000 feet. 35,000 feet is the altitude needed to successfully launch the rockets. Number 7. Bridge Layer SLJ-900 When it comes to quick and easy land transportation, high-speed railways are superb. Therefore, meet the most efficient bridge builder, SLJ-900. It is also known as the Iron Master. This magnificent massive machine is capable of lifting sections of track, carrying and placing those sections in the desired locations to connect the bridge segments. This is the most effective machine to use when constructing bridges that are suspended over valleys, canyons, and bodies of water. The Iron Master is 580 tons, 92 meters, 300 feet long, 7 meters wide, and 8 meters high. It travels at top speeds of 8 kilometers per hour, or 5 miles per hour, with no load, so it can get to its work site without having construction crew wait too long. And you better believe that this Iron Master has drastically declined the time used to create bridges and lowered the cost as builders don't need to use several cranes nor complex time-consuming scaffolding to do the same job. It was made in China by Beijing Wild Joint Machinery Company and designed by the Xi Jiazhuang Railway Design Institute with 64 wheels, all of which are on rotating blocks, which allow for sideway movement when necessary to allow for better proficiency. Number 6. LTM 11200 9.1 The largest mobile crane in the world was developed in Germany. It's considered the most powerful mobile crane to this day. Although it's not more powerful than stationary cranes, it is the ultimate mobile crane and is able to lift 1,200 metric tons. To give you an idea of that weight, it's like lifting 700 automobiles. It also holds the record for having the longest telescopic book, which can extend to 100 meters. It has eight retractable sections and originally was only able to lift small loads. However, those crafty technological inclined German engineers did rectify that downfall. Usually, a magnificent machine of this magnitude is used for construction of viaducts and skyscrapers. Nonetheless, it can be used for smaller private projects. And since it weighs 308 tons, and it's only 3 meters wide and long when it's fully compacted, it won't take too long to reach your site for some massive construction.
Number 5. Mamoet The Mamoet self-propelled modular transport is the world's leader in solutions for lifting, transportation, installation, and decommissioning of large and heavy structures, and they have the awards and certificates to prove it. The transporters combine a high level of agility and maneuverability, allowing for precise positioning of heavy loads, and it gets better. Individual modular transport can be coupled together, either mechanically or arranged in a loose coupling mode on an area of up to 600 by 600 meters. Each individual module has a hydraulic stroke, which allows for amazing ingenuity in carrying loads and self-loading. Each module also has road camera leveling and axle compensation to be able to move up ramps, but maintain a level deck as some cargo should not be uneven at the base. This overall allows a very small ride and maximum protection for its cargo because of the axle compensation allows the modules to drive over rough and bumpy terrain while maintaining a level deck. The driving possibilities are also quite unique, as drive allows forward, backward, and side-to-side -side motion. Even more unbelievable, modules that are linked in large groups can all drive in a radius or carousel motion, which is fantastic for maneuverability. One incredible accomplishment achieved by the Mamoet SPMT was being the first to be able to transport a 330-ton transformer substation 150 kilometers from the factory to the foundation, and the journey was over land and water. Another noteworthy achievement of the Mamoet was breaking a world record in carrying the world's heaviest evaporator, which weighed 5,134 tons. As this amazing feat took place in Saudi Arabia, it was considered a momentous achievement to be very proud of. Number 4. NASA Crawler Transporter NASA's Crawler Transporter is an old yet has never been neglected to date. It was created in the 1960s to carry rockets, shuttles, and other massive parts of NASA's spacecraft's exploration to and from the Vehicle Assembly Building to the second launch pad. It has carried all of the Apollo rockets in every space shuttle. Originally, the Crawler was a coal mining vehicle. At the sake of NASA's demand, engineers in an Ohio coal mining company adapted a machine to meet those demands, and they did a magnificent job creating a timeless machine. The crawlers are 40 meters long and 35 meters wide and weigh about 2,720 tons. NASA's crawlers can haul 12 million pounds, and including its weight, 18 million pounds can be seen transporting shuttles to the launch pads. The crawler has two 2,750 horsepower engines and two 1,000 kilowatt generators. It has been at NASA Kennedy Space Center for about 50 years, and the engineers expect it will last another 50 years. Number 3. Big Bertha Every construction crew building tunnels should purchase Big Bertha. Big Bertha, named after one of the previous mayors of Seattle, is the world's biggest tunnel boring machine. It resembles a gigantic monster earthworm. She's the world's largest tunnel boring machine ever. Not only does she greatly outsize other tunnel boring machines, Big Bertha is a technological wonder. She's 326 feet long, about 5 stories high, and has a diameter of 17.5 meters. Her total weight reaches around 7,000 tons, which causes her to be shipped piece by piece from worksite to worksite. When she's fully assembled and operational, she could push forward at 35 feet per day. The reason she's a titan of technology is due to her ability to carry dirt and rock out of the newly created tunnel via conveyor belt. Moreover, Big Bertha is able to install concrete panels to reinforce the tunnel walls as she plows along. Like a huge science fiction mole monster machine, Big Bertha can do everything underground. This incredible feature is fantastic for commuters as they are free from traffic jams as the normal cut and cover method of making tunnels is eradicated. Number 2. Badger 293 or Bucket Wheel Excavator The world's largest land mobile machine is the Badger 293. It's an enormous 31.3 million pound bucket wheel capable of mining 220,000 tons of coal per day. It's 310 feet tall and is pretty much 18 gigantic buckets attached to a 70 foot in diameter wheel that rips into the earth, loads up soil, and empties it on a conveyor belt. The buckets alone are massive. Each bucket is capable of holding 1,452 gallons of earth, or 80 bathtubs to give you a more vivid comprehension. You would think that about 50 people would be needed to man this machine, but that's inaccurate. Actually, only 5 people are needed during one shift, and that's all they need to be efficient. But they must be in good shape, as the Badger 293, half a mile of walkways, thus workers trot around 6 miles in one shift. The entire rig is two professional football fields long and has the weight of 2,000 adult elephants. 
The Badger is in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the biggest land mobile machine. People liken it to a small transportable city. The Badger is as high as a 30-story building and is powered with 17,000 kilowatts. It is able to collect enough coal to power several million houses. This is truly a magnificent machine. Number 1. Hadron Collider If you're not into science news, perhaps you'll remember this machine from the Flash TV series at the Flash Team Lair in Star City. Well, you'd be intrigued to know that this is actually the world's longest machine. It's the most massive machine built to this day and is used to study the most itsy-bitsy thing on Earth, which is the subatomic particle. In Geneva, Switzerland, this subterranean particle accelerator has a 27-kilometer circumference and is located 175 meters underground. Plans are supposedly underway for an upgrade particle accelerator that will be three times larger. This 17-mile-long machine conceptualized in the 1970s and work began in the 1990s with about 8,000 scientists contributing to its conception. Eight billion was spent on the Hadron Collider, with the U.S. footing $531 million. Now, why on God's green earth would scientists devise such a machine that could speed particles through a 17-mile-long machine, having particles circle the machine at 11,245 times per second? Well, scientists want to categorize all the particles to provide answers of the origin of the universe. They sought clarification of why our universe is created from matter and not antimatter. And of course, by hyperspeeding particles to unimaginable speeds and smashing them together, unlimited energy was exposed. Plus, the particle accelerator enabled new particles to be found and categorized. This very well might be the catalyst to enable mankind to have science fiction-like features and indicate yet again that truth is stranger than fiction. So what do you think? Which big machine interests you the most? And which would you love to hitch a ride in? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe